about human liberty and individual empowerment. I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888 888-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 Leading a frontal assault on the lies of the New World Order, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Dr. Billy DeMoss, the founder of CalJam that I'm a big fan of and I'm the keynote speaker at coming up next month, is our guest. And I was really happy that we could get him on the show, but I didn't realize that he was flying here to be on the show. I'm honored. Uh, talk about one of the main leaders out there in California and other areas of the country leading the health revolution. He's it. And uh, the guy looks like a CIA hitman. Uh, he looks like a, a, a GQ model or something in this suit he was in there wearing. I tell you, he's something else. And uh, he's got a, a lot to talk about today about how we're winning the war against the tyrants. Big British study came out. London Telegraph reported on it. We covered it yesterday that, yes, fluoride is making you fat, depressed, and destroying your thyroid and other organs. Uh, it's just huge. Major British government-funded study. Uh, we've got record numbers of farmers planting non-GMO. Now the British government is in the Daily Mail, uh, calls GM Foods something else to ease public fears, say MPs, members of parliament. Report says label is lightning rod for fears of designer crops. So now they don't just want to have to label, they want to pass a law where you can't label and say organic in the UK because no one will buy it over there. They're voting with their dollars. They're voting with their free will choice, one of the last freedoms they have in the UK. And so now the government wants to stop calling it GMO. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So we're going to talk about this and more with Dr. Billy DeMoss 
coming up. You can find out details at Infowars.com forward slash CalJam. And by the way, go ahead and tell Anthony because he's in there in, in, in charge of our web marketing. Does a fabulous job on top of writing news articles. I'll just let you know Anthony's been doing that for over a year for us. Done a great job. Anthony has it where all the banners in the next hour will go to CalJam. Well, let's just have them go to that now. And you can find some specials and things there. It first goes to doctors and health nutritionists and others. It's already almost sold out when they open up to the public. Uh, I think it holds 5,000 people, uh, but they can open up another area at about 6,000. They've got some reserved uh, in the select areas in the, in the first few rows. So there's a few tickets in each area left. That's a classic sales tactic. Oh, hey, uh, it's going to sell out. Better buy your tickets if you're on the West Coast. No, it does sell out every year. You can go to the website, see the videos. It may sell out in a matter of days. Today is the day that they start uh, selling the tickets for CalJam. So Infowars.com forward slash CalJam. That's where you link through. Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. Let's flip the banners now for the next hour and a half to 100% uh, to this event where I am the keynote speaker. You know, they asked me to speak this year, and I said, you know, I haven't been speaking enough. I've been promising to start doing some more traveling and speaking. And I said, I'll do it. And then I went to their website last week, and I'm the featured speaker, so I... Uh, I didn't realize that. So I am the featured speaker. And uh, if you want to do that, go to Infowars.com forward slash Cal Jam or just go to Infowars.com and all the banners uh, link through if you want to get tickets. And, you know, I've had events in Southern California before uh, and we had to turn away over a thousand people at my L.A. event, over a thousand people. And people were really upset with me. I I I'm sorry. I mean, we had to turn away probably 500 people after we booked a second show with 1,000 people at each event in uh, Santa Cruz. And the tickets were very affordable as well was one reason. But every event I've basically ever had has been sold out. There's been a few where I didn't promote it and, and it was, you know, just 60, 70 percent full. But if I promote something, it always sells out. Plus, Cal Jam always sells out. So it, it's, a very, it's got a lot of great music, a lot of great speakers. Uh, the cutting edge of what's happening in alternative health. It's an event I've always wanted to go to. I've heard so much about it, the amazing, uh, huge uh, theater that it's in that holds again. They can expand it out total to 7,000. I think they're only going to expand it up to 6,000, is what I was told. So there's basically 1,000 tickets left, uh, and those will sell out. Today's the day they open it up. Again, insiders that are already into the health field get the first dibs of getting the tickets last week, and then they hold some to the general public. That's why it's such a great event to be at, is that these people uh, are just so healthy. I mean, they look like um, Barbie dolls or something, or Ken dolls, but it's what healthy lifestyles actually do for you. And I haven't gotten there yet, but I've lost 40 plus pounds, ladies and gentlemen. 40 plus pounds. In fact, soon I'm going to show the photos of myself over the last few months losing another 10 pounds or so. Uh, and I've got a tiny bit of fat on my stomach, and it's gone. I just got a big, round head. But my body, I mean, it's, it's there. I, I'm, I'm down to like 6 7% body fat now, and I used to be like 25% body fat. So just, the, just vitamins, minerals, the same amount of exercise, cutting back some of the crap food I was eating. I'm not a purist like these folks, but I'm trying. It has been life-changing, and this is how we defeat the globalists. I didn't mean to go off into a whole jag talking about this. That's in the second hour. Then we'll have open phones in the third hour and cover some other uh, major news. Obama to ban bullets by executive action threatens top selling AR-15 rifle. That just broke at DrudgeReport.com, red linked. Uh, will you please print this for me? This is unbelievable. We've got to get this article up on Infowars.com right now. And he promised that he would try to restrict bullets and guns with executive action. And this is the line in the sand, folks. Opening our borders by executive action. Uh, cutting off our power plants by executive action. And now, as promised, President Obama is using executive actions to impose gun control in the nation, targeting the top-selling rifle in the country, the AR-15-style semi-automatic, with a ban on one of the most used AR bullets by sportsmen and target shooters. And here's the deal. They'll go after one rifle and one type of bullet first, one type of projectile, and then when they've got that, it's everything. It'll be all semi-autos, down to your semi-auto bird shotgun, and then it'll be bolt action, and it'll be single shot. 
This is un... And they've got the link directly to the NRA. Oh, my gosh. Get this up on Infowars.com. They're going to executive tyrannical action. He couldn't pass the gun restrictions, so he's doing it as a dictator. And if tyranny came, would anybody notice? I mean, this is it. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives this month revealed that it's proposing to put a ban on 5.56 ammo. Oh, my gosh. That's the most popular ammo in America now. I've got like five guns that shoot that. Unbelievable. I've got the evil Bushmaster. I've got the evil stag arms. In fact, will you go to Weldon and have him bring me one of my AR-15s in here, please? One of my M4s. <sighs> Immediately driving up the price of the bullets and prompting retailers, including the huge outdoors company Cabela's. See, where is my news division? I'm not mad at anybody, but I'm so focused on the internet power grab, the internet kill switch. This has been out for days and I didn't know about this? And Drudge just learned of this? To, uh, I know hey, Jakari Alex, was covering Alex, gun stuff last yeah, night. Yeah, we uh, had Michael Cargill on last night, and actually, if they can pull it up on 9. Good, I'm sorry I missed our, that. Yeah, as soon as I heard you, Jakari, I knew I was good. Good job. Yeah. Fill me in. What's going on? There it is. Okay, gun so owners agree. Okay, so the ATF wants to re-regulate uh, types of ammunition, and they're trying to spin it as, you know, it's a great deal. You'll have more uh, bullets to go out shooting with your AR-15. But as I was talking to Cargill last night, we both agreed that if you let them in to change this one thing, then they can just keep changing whatever they felt like changing. So it could go all the way down the line. Well, that's like they say they're going to protect the Internet net neutrality by having the FCC take over the Internet and restrict it. We need to change your video headline to Obama to ban bullets by executive action. That's what this really is. Washington Examiner. It's already driving up the price. Wednesday night, Representative Bob Goodlot, uh, the Republican chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, stepped in with a critical letter to the Bureau demanding and explain the surprise and abrupt bullet ban. Why are they calling it a bullet ban? What specifically is happening, Jakari? Well, what they're doing, Alex, is with this particular thing, the ATF, like I was saying, they, they're saying that all it's going to be is something for the hunter so you can have more ammunition. But, you know, as myself and Cargo were pointing out, that once you let them in, you let the camel put its nose under the tent, then they can change this, they can change that. It's the slippery slope, and a lot of people, a lot of the gun owners I've seen don't want to play this game. Well, give me a wide shot in there, because I've had enough of this. I've had enough. Let me explain something to the New World Order, okay? You're not getting our guns. 1776 started when you tried to get them, you bastards. And as Charlton Heston famously said, from my cold, dead hand, you sons of bitches, you got that? You're not getting our firearms. Do you understand? This far and no further with your damn dictatorship. I'm sick of it. Excuse me, let me plug back in so I can hear Jakari. I mean, folks, they are pushing on every front, totally open borders, selling us out to world government, trying to take over the Internet. I mean, they are moving on every single stinking front. What do you say to this, Shikari? And you also know, Alex, you know this, but some of our viewers may not. They've tried to ban, you know, AK-47s, other type of things. And every time they do this, there's a massive gun sale. I talked to Cargill last night. He said when they came through with the U.N. sanctions on the AK-47s, you know, massive splurge and uh ammunition all these things always go up you know right after sandy hook they wanted to ban the ar-15 rifle uh, everybody goes out and buys the ar-15 rifle and i see you got one there as well so it's just uh more of the same they keep trying to do the same things so if they can't just go door to door and everybody says they've never gone door to door hurricane katrina they went door to door taking people's firearms they realized that wasn't the best way to go about it so now they're trying to, with these executive actions trying to ban the ammunition trying to do all these other things to take your firearms away. And the, they want to restrict the 223, unbelievable by executive action, which sets the precedent that they can do everything by executive action. We have a Congress and we have a Bill of Rights and Constitution. Not even the Congress can touch the Bill of Rights, ladies and gentlemen. Jakari, I didn't mean to read this headline and then read this article and blow up, but people should get upset why do you think the globalists are moving in such high gear, Jakari? Well, just like you always say, you know, what do you do? You come in and you disarm the population. And once you disarm a population, you know, nobody can really say anything about it. You know, so we've seen this in other countries and everybody talks about, but what about the, uh, the low gun crime in Britain? Even though those are misleading numbers, they count incidents, not victims. But if you want to talk about a gun controlled country, why don't you talk about Mexico where they don't have guns, but, you know, they got cartels running down the streets, shooting people hanging people from bridges and doing all these other crazy things, cartels that get their weapons courtesy of the United States government. 